Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Floyd here. Today I'm working on the old CL77 some. I meant 72, excuse me. This is a CL72. I've got a lot of stuff taken apart. I'm getting ready to clean up these wheels and see what they look like. My hope is that after a thorough degreasing and a vapor blasting, that these won't need to go to the chrome plater or need new spokes. Because even though it's all filthy, it actually looks pretty good, as you can see here. So anyhow, I got my blind bearing puller out and pulled the first bearing out the hole. I'll pull the rest of the bearings out and the spacer. And then we'll take this thing to the park washer and get all the grease out of it. Well, how about that? That looks a little bit better than it did. It's still kind of rough looking in spots, though. It's almost impossible to wash down inside. And, of course, there's still no sheen. And while we're at it, there is a trail of rust all the way around the inside. Now, a lot of people, including the manufacturer of the machines, will tell you that you don't need to degrease before you put the parts in the vapor blaster. But I always do. It makes the media last longer. It makes it less toxic to dispose of. And it really helps the parts look better. Okay. Here we are. I bought my machine at Vapor Honing Technologies. I'm not actually advertising. I did do this as a service at one time. But I have a full-time job and grandchildren and a collection of my own motorcycles to work on. So for right now, until I actually retire from working, I probably will not be offering service to the public and I'm not advertising for any more work at this time. Okay, so we got this going. As you can see in this small area that I've already got done it's already made a difference in just that couple of minutes but it'll take quite a while to do this entire wheel and I'm not going to make you sit here through that so hold tight and when I get done I'll bring you back and show you the results well it's about 30 minutes later as you can see the wheel looks much better unfortunately Cleaning everything off really good with vapor blasting. Revealed a line of pits down here in the bottom of the pea catchers, which is what I call these uh, flanged rims. So that means that this rim has to come apart to be replated anyway. Oh well, it was a nice tray. It needed to be cleaned up before I worked on it anyway. And if you want to see how much of a difference it really made, here, look at it next to the rear rim, which I haven't done yet. Yep, the vapor blasting really makes a good difference on that. Like I said, you could buy your own machine or find yourself a good service, whichever one you choose to do. I highly recommend it. Y'all take care of yourself, keep wrenching, keep riding, and stay crazy.